the thing about Michael, you know, is the memories. I, I, I'm lucky enough to have memories actually physically with him on stage and off. And, um, but I think, you know, you, you know, it's a testament to how big of a deal it is, obviously, because, you know, he's created so many cultural photos in, in, uh, in people's minds with his music that, uh, you know, I mean, he really, he really was, he really was and always will be, you know, the king of pop, you know. To create the things that, that he created with his music, I mean, it's, it's really untouchable. It really is untouchable. And um, he opened the minds of the world. Yeah. And to be able to do that through one piece, one, one medium of art is uh, a feat not accomplished by many people, maybe only a handful of people. And even in those handful of people, I don't think anyone ever did it like him. No one presented a song on stage like Michael. I mean, there are many songs that have been written since the beginning of time that are, that are timeless, but there aren't, there aren't as many performances that are timeless. And, you know, I would say of the top 10 of those performances, probably seven or eight of them go to Michael Jackson. And I think it's I think it's a testament to him as an artist, and as a, and more so as a performer, and as someone who understood through the medium of art that he was gifted, that he could change the world, and um, and he really did. He opened the minds of people uh, about music. He opened the minds of people about culture. Um, he in even if even if it was this much in your conscience he helped with segregation you know and his music did that and and um, not a lot of people can say that you know Elvis did that you know um, but I don't know I mean Michael Michael was and Michael was the baddest